हेलो माय सेम इंटर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल मेनी स्टूडेंट्स आस मी दैट सर सिंस एग्जाम्स आर कमिंग नियर कैन यू टेल अस द इम्पोर्टेंट चैप्टर टू बी कवर्ड इन द एग्जाम सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव कम अप विद द सॉल्यूशन फॉर दिस क्वेश्चंस सो टुडे वी आर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वेटेज ऑफ द चैप्टर based on the past analysis uh, last three uh, exam question paper uh, we have come across the most important chapter for your uh, june 25 exam so my dear students here are the analysis for the chapter so if you see the the pdf which we uh, we have shown in that pdf first one accounting for shares and debentures in that in december 2023 they have asked 18 marks questions in june 2024 also they have asked 18 marks questions and december 24 also they have asked 18 marks question my dear student that means this first chapter become very very important from the exam point of view so examiner or a paper setter will set the question based on first chapter up to 18 marks so you may ask me sir in that 18 marks what it covered so my dear student in this 18 marks one question compulsory they will ask from shares and second question they will ask from the debenture and there will be two mcq based on the chapter number 1 accounting for shares and debentures second my dear student preparation of financial statement as per schedule 3 in that they have asked 16 marks for june that like december 23 june also they have asked for 16 marks and december 24 they asked for 18 marks you may ask me sir why they have asked 18 marks my dear student in Ju december 2024 they have added one extra question that is called mcq for two marks generally preparation of financial statement they will set one question in which Includes your statement of profit and loss, balance sheet, and notes to accounts. Where entire sixteen marks, one question they will be asking uh, in this chapter. Next, my dear student, cash flow statement. We have seen in the cash flow statement, they will be asking one question that is called seven marks, and they may ask you one or two MCQ for two two marks. So if you observe December twenty three, they have asked nine mark question that is seven marks one. Question plus two marks MCQ. December two thousand, so June two thousand twenty four also they have asked again one MCQ plus one seven mark questions. And December two thousand twenty four they have asked you only one question for seven mark. There was no MCQ. Next banking company, insurance company, and electricity company. If you observe in this three, in this three, if you observe my dear student, last two attempt they have not asked any question from the electricity company but they are they are consistently asking the question from banking company and insurance company so now you may ask me sir in this attempt will they ask uh, the question from the electricity company yes there is a chance that the paper setter may ask the question from the electricity company so what about the banking company banking company sure shot one question will be there in your exam right my dear students and in days in days general they will ask 7 to 9 marks so if you ask me how to cover the chapter sir so always first chapter we give first priority then second we give the financial statement third one cash flow fourth one banking company and thereafter my dear student thereafter thereafter you may prepare insurance and electricity choice is yours then in days is for how many marks sir 7 to 9 marks yes my dear students so uh, i hope my dear students you understood what i want to convey for you now uh, in next uh, next video i will be discussing with you the most important questions for the exam based on the past exams right my dear students so 
all the best for your exam my dear students now it's time to say tata bye bye to everyone with a beautiful smile on and beautiful face my dear students let's meet in the next video thank you so much my dear students